Here we are in Washington Avenue, and this is dealer 183. Uh, we're going to start with this Capitamonte figurine, uh, an Italian one. Uh, this produced right around 1935 or so. The Shepherd Boy, and then he actually has his mate up here, the Shepherd Girl. And the set of these is going to go for $135. Uh, very nice focal point pieces, bookshelf type items. Um, hefty in nature, but in really good condition for being as old and fragile as they are. We'll see that we can't get him back without making him less. And we will go to the Blanco piece here. Blanco obviously made quite a few pieces. Uh, we have a few other examples here too, of like the snake and coil type piece. This one tends to be a more popular one. Part of that just because of the color. Uh, the blue tends to be really popular nowadays, uh, whether it's for kitchens or putting in a windowsill. Um, this one priced at $39.95. This is the nice carafe that they made quite a few different versions of, uh, but this is gonna be in the darker blue. And let's see, we also have kind of a, a thing that we're going towards now is having the Masters painters, um, but then reprints of the Masters and reissuances and actual legal ones that, that are done in a series. So still a limited edition, but done of the Masters. This is by Van Rysdale, and it's not an original by any means, probably done back in the 1940s. Um, decently framed, might be something that would need reframed, um, but otherwise the print itself, the windmill, um, and I believe it's a little more detailed to that, the windmill at uh, Wick by Dursteed, um, but otherwise $54.50 on that one. Um, so very good initial cost, and then just if you wanted to reframe it, um, probably something of a nice dark uh, wood, and that would go really well in any, any den.